Hello there once again and welcome back to this course in ABE 153 and this video will be talking about the um, manufacturing processes now if you recall in our previous videos that we talk about the different types of materials and also their designations and some uh, some discussions about their properties now those materials uh, in order for those materials to be um, uh, to arrive into our final final product or our final design then it has to undergo some processes okay so that's the importance of this um, of this topic okay so for the context of this um, presentation we'll talk about what is manufacturing and we'll talk about the classification of manuf uh, manufacturing processes and also uh, we'll have a discussion um, probably a more detailed discussion on uh, metal castings hot falling um, machining of metals and um, different uh, and the uh, different processes um, listed here in okay although this is just a small portion of um, of our entire course um, that means that we cannot be able to tackle really all the details um, regarding manufacturing processes okay so uh, the goal right here is that we'll just have to run through all the different types of manufacturing processes and our goal is toward uh, toward uh, toward the application to design okay so to start uh, let's define what is manufacturing according to Groover 2015 technologically manufacturing um, by the way he he defined uh, manufacturing in terms of um, technological definition and in terms of economics so in terms of technological definition uh, it says that manufacturing is the application of physical and chemical processes to alter the geometry properties and or appearance of a given starting material to make parts or products okay, so that means that for example my starting material is let's say an angle bar or um or a plate for example and what else like for example shafts now if all these starting materials um, if 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 my goal is to design a machine or or product um, let's say uh, my intention is to design a threshing cylinder or a or a uh, let's say a, a casing enclosure for the um, for the threshing cylinder okay, so of course from these plates uh, from these bars then it has to undergo some processes okay, so it has to undergo like for example cutting and uh, let's say welding and many other processes okay and sometimes uh, processes includes chemical chemical process okay just to, in to increase the, the properties or to, m to make the material stronger Oh, so so that's the definition of manufacturing okay so again from the starting material from the basic uh, basic shapes then if our end goal is to have this um, let's say to have an alter geometry and by the way not necessarily that uh, it has to be an assembly but even just a part like for example a, a step shaft when I say st uh, step shaft, it's a shaft that has a varying cross section, and uh, it's it is processed using a using a machining process. Okay, so even just it's just a part. Okay, so that's also manufacturing. Okay, so from a st straight round bar, uh, cold rolled steel shaft. Now, I if it is changed to this step shaft, um, it has alter geometry. Then that's uh, that's manufacturing and even just the the plate itself so when you do let's say heat treatment process to increase the, the properties or to change the properties that's also considered um, as uh, as manufacturing okay and in terms of economics manufacturing is the transformation of materials into items of greater value so the word economics always is related to uh, value okay, so from this value 
let's say so our, our starting material right here we have a value but if the uh, output has or, or becomes an um, becomes a part or a, a, a material that has an increased value then that means it's also uh, processing okay moving on um, right here in this slide there is a um, classification of materials so just like what we did in the um, uh, in our topic in in engineering materials that um, we have classified materials as metals um, what else ceramics polymers and composites so right here um, this should be uh, manufacturing right so this sh this must be a classification of um, manufacturing processes okay so manufacturing processes can be considered as um, processing operations or assembly operations so when we say processing operations uh, these are operations that transforms a work material from one state of completion to more uh, advanced state that is closer to the final product so it adds value by changing the geometry properties or appearance of the starting material so example of that is the machining operations so let's check our link right here and we'll check the okay so machining operation is um, something like this so it is a uh, a material removing processes so we have the I think this is the work piece this is the work piece and then this is the, um, the cutting tool okay so somehow it uh, it removes some portion or, or it removes materials um, from the material I mean from the part or from the work piece okay so that's an example of processing operations now another operation is called an assembly operation so which means that it um, it refers to the joining of two or more components okay because after all when we are going to do machinery design there are uh, it is composed of various parts that we need to to join together so that joining could be um, for example welding or um, bolting bolting joint uh, bolted joints okay so right here like for example um, this part right here we have have one component and then another component with flanges so they are joined together by by welding I, I mean by by bolting and right here is by by welding okay so going back to the classification so processing operations uh, it's further classified as shaping processes so when you say sh uh, when you say shaping processes that's uh, it has to do with with the um, with the geometry, okay, with the shape of the material. So if it's let's say solidification processes or metal castings, okay, so you are forming the material. And for this um, another another type of shaping process, the material removal. Uh, the example of this is the um, machining processes or uh, cutting. Okay, so. Uh, all involves um, alteration of the or it all involves um, the the geometry okay the geometry of the material okay and for this heat treatments it's about it's a processing operations uh, whereby you are increasing the property so it's not it's not changing the shape or it's not altering the geometry but rather it's um, changing the properties let's say the strength or the um, or the ductility and things like that okay and for surface processing it's um, it refers to the surfaces like for example if it has or I if it's going to have a smooth surface or a rough surface or other types of um, surface up uh, surface operations like knurlings so that's the surface processing okay so if we say assembly operations then we refer to the joining of parts so how do we join parts we can join it by either welding brazing brazing and soldering so 
um, we will discuss this in in detail later what's the difference between the welding uh, brazing and soldering but it's all about joining the, the parts or joining the the different um, let's say different materials okay and we also have mechanical fasteners and uh, the common example of this is the bolt bolts and uh, machine screw and we also have adhesive bonding all right now we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about casting okay casting is a type of solidification process in which liquefied material such as molten metal is poured into the cavity of a specially designed mold and allowed to harden is an example of that is um, this one as is shown in this link okay so we have this molten metal right here and uh, we have the mold so it the shape the the shape of the final product depends upon the the shape of the mold okay so the main advantage of that is the main advantage of um, metal casting process is that it can create complex and intricate shapes both solids and hollows okay so it's, it's simply because the the metal or the liquid metal is just uh, is in a fluid state or in liquid state then it can yeah it can just follow the shape of the of the mold okay so example of this is the um, engine blocks uh, I mean internal combustion engines so that uh, those um, complex geometry is being done using the, the a casting process okay the next one is the hot rolling and cold rolling now uh, rolling is a deformation process in which the thickness of the work is reduced by compressive forces exerted by two opposing rolls so uh, we have our rolls right here okay, and they are rotating uh, let's say they are rotating in opposite direction and we have our material right here so the material at the input end is uh, of course it has a thicker uh, let's say it has a thicker thickness like right here because it's being compressed okay it's, it's being compressed and of course right here we uh, it's gonna have some uh, some some changes in the in the thickness Okay, and the term hot rolling. Okay, the, the term hot rolling is simply the, a rolling operation that's done at elevated temperature, and the term cold rolling simply means that uh, it's a rolling process uh, performed at room temperature. So it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the the temperature should be at some at some freezing temperature. Okay, so even if it's just at room temperature, so around uh, let's say thirty degrees or something. Uh, that's that's a, a cold rolling process now the effect is that uh, there's going to be a, an effect or there's going to be a difference between the hot and cold rolling process simply because there is the, um, there is a temperature um, a difference and whenever there's a temperature difference there's going to be an effect in the microstructure of the uh, of the material so you would notice actually in some shafts even in I think listed in our files that there's like uh, for example CRS shaft okay, so cold rolled cold rolled steel shaft okay rather than just uh, uh, than just the typical hot roll shaft okay so this is much uh, stronger than the hot roll and also the cold rolling is actually a, a secondary process after after hot rolling so this one uh, comes first and then uh, some additional processes if uh, if necessary uh, it's being processed cold rolled okay so let's check right here our link and okay so hot rolled versus cold rolled steel from this website so hot rolled, uh, just simply um, rolling at high temperature and or at elevated temperature, and the example of this cold rolled is uh, just rolling at, at room temperature. Okay, so we have rolls, ro uh, rolls or rollers, and we have this part right here being compressed by the by the rollers. Okay, there's actually 
uh i mean you can you can also or you should you should check this article also and read some details about the hot rolling and cold rolling okay and another link is from this website metal supermarkets and they have this article for difference between hot rolled steel and cold rolled steel and i have already shown you uh, if i remember it correctly i've already shown you the the difference of the hot rolled and cold rolled uh, in terms of their uh, of their appearance okay so right here we have the cold rolled and we have this uh, i mean hot rolled above and the cold rolled uh, below so the appearance there's actually um, there's actually a um, a, a difference in uh, this cold world has more uh, probably has more or is more is or has a smoother surface than the uh, hot world all right the next process that we'll talk about is the forging of metals and this forging of metals is basically uh, a process a process of forming and shaping of metals through the use of hammering pressing or rolling okay so let's check our link right here so um from the definition that forging is simply uh, a process okay um, a process of forming and shaping by uh, by the use of hammering, uh, pressing, or rolling. Okay, so right here we have this um, this picture that um, metal is heated before it is um, manipulated to the desired shape using a uh, forge hammer. Okay, so this was um, uh, this is a mo a common uh, I think common process. Um, during the medieval times uh, about uh, the blacksmith operations and uh, th things like that okay another one is right um, let's check this one okay so this one is uh, it's forging forging operation uh, but it says here there's there's a close uh, closed die forging and open die forging okay so the principle is the same it's a forming um, forming process forming shaping process but use of uh, hammering okay so moving on let's move on now to the extrusion and drawing of metals okay, extrusion is a process uh, extrusion is a process of forcing a billet through a die to reduce its cross-section um, or to produce a wide range of solid or hollow cross section. Okay, so forcing a billet. Okay, so forcing a billet. So let's say we have this billet, and it's being forced through a die. So let's say we have a die right here, and that die has a. Um, depending upon the the shape right here, the the exit or the 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 hole okay so that depends upon the the shape of the die right here so that's going to be the the cross section of the product okay so it's going to be something like this okay so we have a die and we have this billet it's uh, this billet is being forced through the uh, that die and depending upon the shape of this um of this hole or the i mean i don't know the, uh, if it's a hole or a slot uh, it's that's gonna be the end product is that's gonna be the cross section of the of the material okay so examples uh, of this extruded parts okay so these are the example extruded parts and uh, this one is aluminum aluminum extrusions okay so that depends so you can create this complex cross section through uh, extrusion process okay so right here uh, we have uh, Actually, there's really a lot, um, a lot of possibilities for the, for the shape of the cross section. Okay, so that's extru uh, extrusion process. Okay, so let's check this uh, another another link regarding extrusion dies.
Okay, and extrusion die, uh, it's this one. So there's a lot of die profiles. Uh, we also have hollow, um, hollow dies right here, right to create a hollow section. Uh, right here we have a solid die, and what I was, um, what I was talking about is this billet. Okay, so basically it's the starting material, and then it's being forced through this die, and this is gonna be the the cross section after after it passes through the die. Okay, and generally this is carried out at elevated temperatures because of course at elevated temperatures this then this material is uh, or the metal is uh, is softer. Okay, now moving on, uh, we'll we'll now talk about the machining of metals. Okay, so machining or milling operation is a material removal process. Okay, so um, it somehow um, removes some material from the workpiece um, so that we can achieve the desired geometry. Okay, and there are actually many um, many specific processes related to machining, but uh, right here I'll just only discuss these three. So we have turning, we have milling, and drilling. Okay, and the difference is that. Uh, we'll check this link right here if uh, if we can see s an illustration for the uh, difference. Okay, so milling and turning. So right here, uh, this is a milling operation, and this one is a um, turning operation. But I guess I I should start with this link. Okay, so the difference between the milling and turning operation is this one. Okay, so right here in this uh, in this figure A, this is a turning operation. So what that means is that this is the the workpiece. Okay, we have a workpiece that is rotating, and the uh, and here is our our cutting material. Okay, so the workpiece rotates, and this one is uh, relatively stationary. But for milling, it's the other way around. Okay, this one is relatively um, stationary, the workpiece, and this one is rotating. The a cutting tool is rotating. So that's the difference between turning and milling. And right here we uh, uh, we have here a uh, we have here the drilling operation. So basically, it's it's removing material to create um, holes. Okay, so going back right here, this one. Uh, the the left figure that's the milling operation so we have the workpiece right here that's relatively stationary and right here this is our cutting material or cutting tool and there's there's liquids that's being sprayed because there is a lot of frictions that is generated um, throughout the, the the processing operations and that um, that friction uh, that somehow uh, or that can damage the material because uh, if there's friction, then there's heat. Then of course you need to have uh, you need to have a stable uh, stable cutting tool. So that's why you need to have um, have this uh, this tool um, maintain its geometry uh, by cooling it. Okay, cooling it by the liquid or other solutions. Okay, and right here uh, at the right. This is a turning, turning process. Okay, so this is the the workpiece. It's the one being rotated, and this workpiece is being held by, by a jaw. Or a holder, something like that. And this is the cutting cutting tool. Okay, so moving on. Let's talk about grinding. Okay, so grinding is a material removal process accomplished by abrasive particles. So this is the uh, this is the keyword abrasive particles that are contained in abundant grinding wheel rotating at very high surface speeds. Okay, 
Okay, so let's check this one. So we have an illustration of uh, grinding right here. So this is the the grinding wheel, and this is the work piece, the blue ones. So this grinding wheel has an abrasive. Um, says here abrasive particles okay that are contained in a bonded grinding wheel okay and once that abrasive particle or that abrasive surface um, touches the workpiece then it somehow uh, removes the material or uh, it's it also it can also soften um, s soften the materials I mean <laughs> smoothen sorry uh, smoothen the the work piece okay so there's also a lot of um, of let's say positioning like uh, th this one a uh, horizontal axis or you can have a vertical axis and also many types of uh, grinding grinding processes okay and even internal like for example you have a hollow work piece then how do you smoothen or remove the material inside so there's uh, internal grinding or taper or this one the okay, end face end face by the way this simply refers to the face at the um, at the end right now let's check this last link for grinding Okay, so this last link is um, this is actually uh, or the figures here shows um, some example of the, of the grinding. So we have this grinding uh, grinding wheel. So this grinding wheel has uh, abrasive uh, abrasive surfaces, and, and somehow if that uh, touches the workpiece, then uh, it it removes some material or it smoothens out the, the surface. Okay, now let's move on to the sheet metal forming. Okay, so sheet metal, sheet metal uh, working includes cutting and forming operations performed on relatively thin sheets of metal. Okay, so that's 0 0.4 mm to 6 mm. So that depends. Again, whenever we have this limiting values, uh, the lower range and upper range, so that depends upon the references. Because I know this also, um, uh, there's like for example uh, other reference is 6.35 or 6 point, uh, 6 point something because the 6 mm if you convert that to 1 fourth inch uh, there's a difference in terms of point, uh, point, point something in millimeters okay so uh, let's say this is our thickness line uh, if we have let's say 0 0.4 mm and right here we have 6 mm in terms of thickness so let's say this is the thickness and we have a um, uh, a thicker uh, thicker thicker material so from 0.4 to 6 mm that's what we refer to as sheet metals and this one uh, 6 mm greater that's what we call plate and um, lower than 0.4 mm this is what we uh, call as foils okay and uh, there are actually a lot of um, subclassification of operations or processes uh, regarding sheet metals. Okay, so we have, uh, let's say, the bending operations. And the bending operations itself, we have V bending, we have roll bending, uh, seaming, etc. And we also have cutting operations, drawing, and die and press operations. Okay, so since we don't have links right here, so the bending operation is. Uh, the bending operation is for example if this is the 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 sheet metal and we have this die right here okay and we have this punch so once this uh, this punch okay uh, hits this uh, this work I mean this this sheet metal then it will form like this so it will do some bending okay so that's V bending and another type of bending is just simply uh, let's say this is the sheet metal and we have this punch right here so the final shape would be something like this so it will just bend uh, 90 degrees 
Okay, and there is also roll bending or typically referred to as roller. So from from a right from a uh, sheet metal that's I mean from a flat sheet metal and if you pass that through a roll a roller or a roll bender this is different from the hot rolling or cold rolling uh, this one is a roll bender so okay, so let's say this is the sheet metal so once it it passes this roll so the cross section is something like this and this one passes here inside and this one is being pressed so depending upon the 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 position then it can it can change the the radius of the wall okay so after that you can create a a cylinder okay so from the roll bending and also conical um, conical shapes uh, it's also possible to be done in the roll bender okay, and we have cutting operations like for example shear cutters um, uh, what else I think it's the uh, shear press right? something like this shear press so you, you can just check this out so again when you say cutting is just simply um, cutting this uh, this this sheet metal can, and for the drawing operation, this is something like um, okay, for the drawing operation, it's the process being used for um, let's say if we have this uh, stainless steel cup or or something like that. Okay, so that's a that's an example of drawing operations. And for the die and press operation, so this is uh, an example of this is the production of car body sh uh, car body car body shapes okay so it's being just uh, press right so just check this out 